Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a beautiful Friday morning and oh, it's yeah. Fei Chang Hao to be with you this morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen, we're joined in studio by a vocal powerhouse. Like bar none. Yeah. She is a budding singer-songwriter and she goes by the name Mo. Yeah. Her passion for music dates back to her very young days when she was just 10 years old and featuring on a gospel song. Now fast forward a couple of years, uh, she's carving out a name for herself, her own space in the R&B landscape, Carl. Absolutely beautiful, all right? And to, at 25 years of age, she's a young woman with many gifts, as you can hear, with languages and of course the voice you need to hear. She's got qualifications in here the life training, theology, music, hmm. overachieving, <laughs> music, yeah. and being the reason uh, why she's on the show today is to actually inspire you and, and give you a little idea as to what we have in terms of quality when it comes to music yeah. in South Africa. So I want you to take a, a listen to her work, just to give you a little taste by tantalizer as to what you can expect from Mo this morning. Baby, are you listening? I know there is so much left unsaid, but I need you. To hear me that there is still something left Cause I don't wanna spend another moment On the other side of what we share So speak, speak I'm listening past the pain we share Speak, speak Carl Wasty, you need to understand <laughs> oh, oh, how, do you, how do you just climb and climb and climb? That is, whew! Why am I sweating? Okay, Because <laughs> I'm, I'm proper, I'm proper fanboying out now, I'll have you know, but I'm calming myself down. I am absolutely in awe of, of your talent, and oh. I think it's, it's a beautifully God-given gift that yeah. you have not only cherished, but you've honed so beautifully over so many years, right? Oh. And it's incredible to see you do what you do. How would you describe your connection to music? I think... I think I was saying that music is the only thing that makes sense to me sometimes. It, it, it really feels like a lifeline to me. And I was saying there's nothing else in my life that I could see yeah. doing other than music. It's either music has to work or music has to work. I don't I have that. a plan B I because that. I wake up, I dream, I sleep. It's just music. It, it really gives me life and it's from my family and yeah. it's just every fiber of my being, yeah. That, that is pure passion, that is power, and I think that's something that everybody can take on board if you focus on something. Yeah. Um, you know, that if you think about a plan B, you think about things not working. Yeah. You could be positive and actually think that it is going to work. Yeah. And for you, whew, it's working. <laughs> it's a vibe. It's, 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 Thank you. <laughs> It really, it really, it's, it's a vibe. It really is a vibe, and that's the name of your debut single. And yeah. I mean, we've heard just a little, a little teaser of it. It's, it's mm. beautiful, but also mm. the song, in terms of its depth, is around, uh, you know, being able to cut a relationship if it's not working for yeah. you. That doesn't really make you a quitter. Yeah. Is that the narrative that you wanted to bring across in this beautiful song? Yeah, I think um, I went through an experience where I had to make a decision to choose my happiness. You know. Oh and, yeah. Like you know, we're always told like, no, you are you ever gonna find somebody else? You're whatever, whatever. And I just thought, I'm not gonna live the rest of my life not knowing whether I could have done better. So let me cut it now, and if it's meant to be, it will be. But it was a vibe, it's cool. Like, let's take a picture, close the door. <laughs> it's fine, like if it's not working out and you tried, it was a vibe. Like, choose your happiness. I love this. Choose your happiness. Like. <laughs> Listen, and speaking of happiness and, and the happy vibes that you are creating, one only needs to have a look at your TikTok page. 350,000 plus followers. Yo. Yeah. Plays upon plays upon plays. You've got an incredible community fan base that you've built yeah uh, with yeah. what I think is genuine love and an appreciation for what yeah. you do I mean how have you managed to do that so I actually started TikTok properly in January so, this year yeah so I decided okay this year I'm um, because I think one of my videos made like a hundred thousand yeah. views in December then I was like okay maybe there's maybe there's something here so then uh -huh. I was like January I'm gonna start posting quite often and within two months I think I was on like 20k then 18 three then a hundred then and this is where we are and I really owe a lot of where I am right now to my TikTok followers. They are incredible. They hype me up, they keep me going, they remind me of things I said I was gonna do. It really <laughs> feels like I've got an extended family of people from all over the world. And it's been such a blessing. I, I'm so grateful that people find me interesting enough to follow me and help me achieve my dreams in the process. Phew. Yeah. 
That is absolutely the, beautiful. It, it, it is indeed, and I know that you've got this farewell concert planned on the 18th of August. Yeah. But I hear farewell, I get very sad because I, it's, I feel like I just heard you now. I don't want you to go. <laughs> uh, but this is obviously Mo, Me Ever After. Yeah. Uh, you know, and Me Ever After, let's look at that for a second. What is the, the Ever After, after this concert? Um, so Me Ever After has two meanings. One, I am releasing my second single on Friday called Me Ever After. Um, and it's really a song about me really choosing myself and going for what I said I want and not compromising or anything. So it's my farewell concert because I got a scholarship to do my master's in New York, so... Yes, Mo! Yes, yes Mo! So yeah, I got a scholarship to do my master's in New York, so I'm leaving in two weeks, but I'm gonna be in and out of South Africa, so you won't okay. miss me too much. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's, I feel like it's beginning. It's the end of a journey, but the beginning of a new one. And I, I'm so, so, so excited for what's to come. So it's me ever after. I love that. I love that <laughs> so, so much. Proud. And we're wishing you all of the best. I, I absolutely know that you are going to blow everyone away and the world, like the world is not ready for you. Oh, so thank get you ready, so world. Much. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I love so much about Mo is her love for languages. She is Mandarin fluent. Yes. And, and probably other languages too that I didn't mm. even know about. But yeah. take yeah. a look at this quick. Story. <laughs> 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 Take a look at uh, her proficiency in Mandarin. Hello everybody, it is your good friend, Mozoeri. So today I'm going to teach you how to say a phrase that a lot of you have asked me about and it is how to say, I love you. So you say, Wo ai ni. Wo ai ni. One more time. Wo ai ni. Zai ze. Wo ai ni. Right, right. So in, in Mandarin, there are tones. There are four, actually five tones. Yes. So it's wo, 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 wo. So first tone, second tone, third tone. So it's very it's important that you always get the right tone because you can say a word and, you know, one word, but it means different things if you say it differently. So wo, ai, ni, ai. Wo ai ni. But then obviously if it's colloquial and you kind of got used to the language, yeah, you say yeah. wo ai ni. I wow. Know. Could you teach us like maybe so one of your favorite phrases in, in, uh, in Mandarin? Is it possible? Do you have one that you could teach um, us? Yeah. Yeah? Um, jin tian. Jin tian. Fei chang hao. Fei chang hao. Jin tian. Jin tian. Fei chang hao. Fei chang hao. Today is good. Today is good. Yeah. Jin tian fei chang hao. Yeah, I tell that to myself when I'm going through a lot. Jin tian fei chang hao. Oh, I love that. Jin tian fei chang hao. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we go, we have yes. to do this. So, so Mo has this game that she plays with her friends. All right. They drive in the car and it's called Keep Up, right? Yeah. So she's going to sing a line and then we have to follow <laughs> oh, the line. So singing. The, line, the line is from her single, It Was A Vibe, right? Yeah. Okay. So the basic line goes, It Was A Vibe. Yes. So she'll Ooh, start off okay. and then okay. I'm, I'm going to take the first line and then whatever line she sings, you sing. Okay, then okay. okay. We gonna, let's go. And then, and then you, when you fall out of the truck, that's when you don't keep Keep up okay, keep up. I got yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna try. Got it. It was a vibe. 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 You do not miss out on a live performance by Mo. I promise you, it is going to set you up for the rest of mm -hmm. the year. And check her out on social media. Yeah. I think it's at Mo Music. Mo is music. M-O-E-I-S music. Fei Chang Hao. Fei Chang Hao. <laughs>